Hey guys, welcome to Big Laws Official. Today we're gonna to take a look at some of the greatest deadlifters of all time. Now, quick disclaimer, I'm obviously a strongman, so this list is heavily favored towards strongman. However, we do include some incredible past and present powerlifters as well. So we're gonna kick things off with Rauno Heinler from Estonia. Rauno is a fantastic deadlifter. He's won countless deadlift events in competitions over the years. Most recently, he broke the 400 kilo deadlift for reps as part of the World Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength in 2020. He lifted six repetitions, which was absolutely insane, breaking the existing record, which was set by JF Caron and Konstantin Janasha. Our next athlete we're taking a look at is the incredible Mark Felix. Now Mark isn't so well known as being a max deadlift specialist, but when it comes to repetitions or higher partial deadlifts, Mark is absolutely top of the list. He's won the deadlift at the World's Strongest Man the first eight years that he competed there, which is just a mind boggling feat in itself. And Mark also, in 2013 broke the Hummer deadlift world record, lifting a huge 1,128 pounds, 512 kilograms. Next, we have the American outlaw, Jerry Pritchard, a monster deadlifter, having pulled 465 kilos as part of the deadlift world championships in 2016. Jerry also broke the elephant bar deadlift record at the Rogue Record Breakers at the Arnold's in 2017, lifting an incredible 1,031 pounds. Next up, another incredible deadlifter that doesn't get enough recognition, the one and only, JF Caron from Canada. JF has won countless deadlift um, events in various different competitions over the years, and most recently he broke the Hummer deadlift world record, setting an incredible lift with 1,202 pounds, 546 kilograms. So next up, we're taking a look at a power lifter, and we're gonna have controversy with this lift as it is a sumo lift. But one thing you cannot deny is when you weigh 100, you're under 110 kilos body weight, and you pull 440.5 kilos, you have to give massive props to Jamal Browner. He's pulled even more in the gym with straps, I think around the 475 kilos mark in the gym. He's young, he's getting better and better. This guy is gonna be a monster, he's already a monster, the deadlifter but he's just going to improve and he could well be one of the lightest people ever to break that 500 kilo mark okay sticking with powerlifting we're going way back now to 1988 with lamar grant the first man ever to deadlift five times body weight this man was was small but he was perfectly built for deadlifting he had the longest arms you've ever seen incredible strength he pulled 305 kilos at a body weight of 60 kilograms. Truly, truly mind boggling. His record still stands now, all these years later, and you just have to include him in any deadlift when you're talking about the best of all time. Our next lifter is Ivan Makarov. This guy has pulled 470 kilos in a sanctioned event. He's pulled 490 kilos in the gym, which is the third biggest lift of any lifter of all time. And he's probably the most likely person to break the record in the near future. Next up, we have the incredible Icelander Thor Bjornsson. Now this might be controversial as I have three men above him on this list. However, he is the current world record holder lifting a magnificent 501 kilograms as part of the World Ultimate Strongman Feats of Strength again in 2020, exciting the strength world where there was nothing else going on. Thor put on an incredible performance to break the world record. He's also the Arnold Elephant Bar deadlift record holder, having lifted 474 kilos as part of that event. Bear in mind at the Arnolds, they don't allow deadlift suits or figure of eight straps. However, I have three men ahead of Thor, despite him being the record holder currently, for what they've achieved in terms of amount of times they've performed well in deadlifts and how they changed the, the dynamics, if you like, of what was achievable. Sticking with Icelanders, we're looking at the incredible Benedict Magnusson. Benedict truly is a deadlift monster. He's currently still the raw powerlifting record holder, having pulled 460 kilos back in 2011. As well as that, 
Benedict has held the strongman deadlift world record and he battled it out and for a number of years alongside Eddie Hall, both of them breaking the record by a kilo or two at a time. Benny has performed in the deadlift in strongman, in powerlifting and broken records in both sports. Truly one of the best deadlifters of all time. So number two on my list is the incredible Andy Bolton. Not only is Andy the first man to pull a thousand pounds in competition, he was also the second man to pull a thousand pounds in competition. And as well as that, Andy has pulled 900 pounds or more in a powerlifting contest 48 times. No one else even comes close to lifting those kind of numbers. Even now it's rare to see in powerlifting someone pulling 900 pounds or more and Andy has pulled that weight 48 times. Truly an incredible lift and being the first man ever to pull a thousand pounds, he's got to go down in history as one of the greatest deadlifters of all time. And finally, I'm sure this one's gonna come as a huge surprise to everyone, it's the one and only Eddie Hall. Now, as well as the incredible 500 kilo deadlift, which, let's remember at the time, broke the deadlift world record by 35 kilos, Eddie has also done some other magnificent feats when it comes to the deadlift. Some of my personal favorites include in the gym where he did the death by deadlift. Starting with 60 kilos, he went up in 20 kilo um, plates at a time, all the way up to 420 kilos and back down. That is truly one of the most incredible deadlift feats I have ever witnessed. As well as that, Eddie won the deadlift in the 2017 World Strongest Man, lifting 472 kilos. This was the fifth event of the competition Bear in mind they'd already done the qualifiers as well and this was a stiffer bar using bumper plates so that the weight was not bending like it would on some of the other deadlifts that you see and you had some of the best deadlifters in the world competing in this contest. So the reason Eddie goes at the top is not just that 500 kilo lift, he's done countless huge deadlifts, him and Benny having the battle to, to be the record holder. The lifts that Eddie's done in the gym are just mind boggling. And then the amount of times he's won against incredible opposition, he has to go down as the greatest deadlifter of all time. While you're here guys, subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my awesome strength content.